So, so once I have the data, now let's explore the data. So I'm going to say select star from employees and execute it. Oh, it's going to throw an error. Why? So what error I got? So how to resolve this error? Batch one, does batch one has employees table? We can use use. Use employees. Uh, use employees. Great. This is, that's a one way. What is another way? Employees dot table. Employees dot table. Correct. Because my table employees is under employees database. So that's the reason why I have to either do this or do something like this. Yeah, that's what my question is. Is it okay uh, the database name and the table's name is okay? It, would be, it, same. it can be is same. Okay? It can be same. But uh, as per the naming conventions, we usually don't do that. Uh, we'll at least append this with underscore db. Underscore db. It's just a naming okay, convention. Okay, okay. Just to say it's a database. Correct. That's what. Underscore db is an extension uh, which says it's a database as simple as this. If your table name and the database name is the same, so try to add underscore db as a suffix to the database name so that that says it's a database. Okay, that's just a naming convention, right? Okay, I'm saying use use employees. So now onwards, I, I don't really need to say employees dot. Okay, now I could see the data over here, right? Well, same way, let's explore departments. See, has a department number and the department name. Is, is this clear to everyone? Is this clear to everyone? Any, any questions still here? Yeah, uh, it's very clear. So I've got one doubt. Uh -huh. So how often uh, we basically import uh, this data into the databases? Can you just say a use case or real time scenario? Yeah, sure. I can. I can give you one use case, correct? So usually, whenever you try to do production releases, correct? Let's say, okay. Uh, let, let's take something like this. Uh, I have two environments. One is uh, the production one and production two environments. Production one is called to be the staging environment usually, okay? And uh, if you look at uh, the project execution, we'll be having development environment, QA, where all the quality analysts will work on, and then everything, all your qual quality looks fine and everything, then you'll release the data into the staging. That's used for user-defined acceptance testing. Uh, so then we'll have, be having production environment also. So this user acceptance is very near to the production. It's not exactly the production, but very near to the production. Okay. So sometimes you yeah, wanted to. It's like pre-production. It's kind of a pre-production, correct? Yeah. Uh, but not exactly the same as the production thing, but, but it's very near to the production. Okay. So now uh, if I wanted to do some sort of an analysis, uh, let's say I got some issue and I wanted to debug the issue. What will I do? I will not go do anything in the production, right? Because you are not allowed to do anything in the production. You are restricted to do anything in the production. Now, what will I do? I will raise a request to dump the data from production to the staging. Now, what will they do is they will export all the data in the form of a dump files. We call them as a dump files. The files I just shown you, correct? Yes. You can export the data, for, by the way. Uh, you can simply go to tools, utilities, I think that there will be a way to export the data. Just a minute. In the result grid, you can see, I guess, there you can export as an Excel or something. Under server only, it is their data export. Where, where is that? Where is that? Under server. Under server, correct? Uh, the data export. So you can export whichever the database you wanted to export for, say. Okay. And I'm trying to export all this data. Okay. So now it is saying in which structure you want. Do you want dump structure and that? What does it mean is, do you want them as a dump? And the extension of that file is that. 
Okay, the dumb files extension is DAT. It's just a data files. DAT means data. That's it. Okay, or how, how do you, you want, want it? it? You want dumb data only, dumb structure only. You want uh, only the data, not the structure. You want only the structure, not the data. Whatever you want, you can choose that. Okay, I said dumb structure with the data. And now, what can I do is the problem with this uh, workbench is this is a very old standalone application. So it's going to be a little difficult to scroll this because, okay, just a minute. Huh? I have to do some tricks to basically, uh, there will be an export button at the down basically where it will not allow me to scroll. That's the problem with this. So I need to apply some tricks to, you know, get that export button thing. So I'm I'm saying export to this location basically. Now where is my export thing? Come on. There's a problem with uh, the MySQL workbench. It's not very user friendly. I need to scroll. I need to go little down, but it will not allow me to scroll down. That's the problem with this. So there is something below to this, correct? You see there is uh, something over here. It's not allowing me to scroll. That's the problem with the MySQL. Yes, yes. Start, 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 start export. export. Exactly. That You need to click on that button. Then only it will start exporting the data. So, but there is no scroller. That's the problem with this. So I need to see how to do that. But you just need to click on that export. It will be all your data will be get exported to this location in the, as a DAT files, which has all your data of your tables. Okay, so this is how you can basically export the data. But I will figure out a way to do it. Uh, I tried several times to do, do that, that, but it always create a problem like this. But I will tell you, uh, I will figure out a way to do it. Okay. All right. Uh, so moving back. So now. That's, so when you say export, all your data is, um, sorry, all your, uh, you, you, you can choose a location, so all your data will be exported to that particular location. In the same way, you can do the import also, right? So you can say data import, this will ask you the location where your data is. So you want to create a new schema and new tables, all that stuff you can enter, and you can simply say, um, Import, it will import all the data into your database. Okay. Either of the ways you guys can do. So either to export or to import the data into the MySQL from the MySQL. So any any questions from anyone? Any any questions from anyone? All right. Small head. So once your data is now ready, so we are gonna perform all these operations. So okay. Till now, we looked at how to select the data from a table, correct? Uh, what else I can do along with my select uh, select class? Can I do some sort of a filtering of a data? Is that possible? Of course, it's possible. So how to do that? So that's where the where clause will come into picture. Where is a class which will take a predicate or we call it as a condition, uh, which is made of your relational operators, which is less than, greater than, not equal to, equal to. Uh, it's made of all this. Uh, it will take the expressions, which is made of this operators, which are your relational operators. OK. So now the example for that is, uh, let's, let's say, say I, I wanted to uh, basically filter out only the males uh, from uh, male employees then this is how it looks like, okay? I say, select star from the table where the column name is equal to the predicate or the condition, okay? Sorry, the predicate where the column name equal to some value. So in this case, I am basically filtering out uh, the male employees information from employees table. That's what I was doing over here. So when I executed, I could see all their details onto the console. 
So where I, where I'm saying, okay, the gender is equal to M from the employees table. This is going to give me only the male employees as an output. That's what it's going to give. Is, is this uh, clear to everyone? So, so along, along with the, the select, select, we're also using the where class to apply a filter on my table. So where clause is used to apply the filters on the table. Okay. So you say select star from employees where the condition. Okay. In my case, the condition is gender is equal to M. Okay. I'm saying, okay, I wanted to filter out only the male employees uh, where the gender is equal to M and I, I could able to see only those results onto the console. Okay. Let's let's take one more statement and see how how is this gonna be. So here what I'm doing, this is gonna be very interesting, right? So I'm saying I wanted to get the male employees and their hire date is greater than 1989-09-12. That means I wanted to get the employees who joined the company, which is uh, after 1989-09-12. So I wanted to get the details of the employees, the male employees, where the hire date is greater than 1989-09-12. That means I am more interested in knowing the male employees who had joined after this particular date. So, and the hire date is basically which column? Uh, what is the data type of the hire date? It's a date. Okay. Uh, so even though if it is a date, you still need to represent uh, this under the double quotes. Okay. Whenever you are trying to use a date inside a condition, then you have to put that inside the double quotes. Remember that. That's going to be very important. Uh, sorry, the single quote. It's going to be very important. You need to remember this. So now when I execute this, I'm going to get all the employees, the male employees who had joined after this particular date. Okay. I could see all the employees who are joined after this particular date. Any any questions from anyone? Yes, 